Hey guys, welcome back to another Ancestor video, and today I'll be teaching you how to identify a queen ant. Many beginner ant keepers catch ants that they think are queens, but are actually not queens. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to identify a queen ant. First of all, a queen is always the largest type of ant in an entire colony species. If the species is polymorphic or they have different sizes of ants, there are major ants as well as regular minor ants. To differentiate between a queen and a major, a queen's head is almost always smaller than its thorax or middle segment. A major's head is always larger than its thorax. Secondly, a queen's abdomen is the largest part of a queen's body. It is usually large and round and also oval shaped. Queen ants thoraxes is it is it called thoraxes? Thorax thoraxes I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, their thoraxes are the second largest and the head is the smallest of the three. Thirdly, queens have wings, but male elites also have wings. To differentiate between a male ant and a queen ant, you have to look at their size. The size of a male ant is usually smaller than the size of a queen of its same species, so it definitely helps if you know what species they belong to. A male ant's abdomen and head is also smaller in terms of proportion. So it looks slightly more like a wasp than it does look like an ant. If the ant you caught does not have wings and you are still not sure if it is a queen or not, you can look at its thorax. If its thorax has wing scars where the wings used to be, it is almost definitely a queen. That is all the tips I have for you today. If you have any other tips, be sure to leave them in the comment section below to help others. Also, if you are still not sure if it's a queen or not, or you want to identify what species your queen is, you can join my Discord server to ask the community there. Or you can visit Anz DIY's Facebook page to message them and ask them questions. So thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it, be sure to subscribe and like the video to be notified when I upload future videos. And after all that, I'll see you next time.